Jalen D. Barry Foundation, uh, and the foundation is on is owned by and operated by a young man, an awesome young man that I have had the opportunity to include in my network by way of Sister Leticia Rush. And this is the point of the importance of networking. And I asked them to come by today because I'm thoroughly really impressed with him and how he at an early age has accomplished what he has accomplished. And this is to say, you can do anything that you can put your mind to. Mr. J. Ayako. Ayako. Sarah Yanka was cool. Doing good. Summertime. Well, I'm really happy to be here with y'all today. I'm gonna go here for a few seconds, really, but uh, I just wanted to pop in. I heard there was a great program happening here today, so just wanted to check in and see how that going. You know, finance is something that you know really transformed my life. Uh, learning about it, understanding the world of it, but more importantly, understanding what I can take from it and bring it back to you all, my community, and you know, the state at large. Only, like I said, okay, to which I really quickly, but you know, I just want to take a quick poll and ask Does anybody here know what it means to have a brain? Raise your hand if you know it. A brain? Yeah. You know what a brain is? Cool. Well, I just want to talk to y'all quickly about what it means to represent yourself. And not the brain that we, we all know, like as far as you know, social media. Yes, that is a part of your brain. But that type of brain, of course, starts with something we all call character. So thinking about that as a part of your brain, for myself, you know, things that are hallmarks of my being, being responsible, being a leader, and being someone who does it for the right reason, and does it for my heart. So for all of y'all, I know there's a lot of y'all who have different passions, desires, things that are important to you. Your brain first starts with what's inside of you, your passions. I'm gonna just be real with y'all. The world we live in now is not completely the same world that our parents grew up in. Y'all could, anybody here could sit here right now and create a YouTube video and it goes viral, y'all could become a millionaire. That's the world we live in right now. And that's not to put no pressure on y'all or anything like that, but bringing it back to the idea of what it means to have a brand, what it means to have characteristics that you stand upon, those things directly lead you to those ideas that blow up become amazing. For me, the first thing that I ever did to really build my brand, I would say, was actually thinking about building my nonprofit, my, my foundation. And it honestly started with the idea that, you know, there's gonna be people who was never gonna ever be able to see, like, just like the lifestyle that was happening, like in New York. Just, New York is, is a, was a completely different lifestyle for me to be able to sit on rooftops, I'm sitting with different level CEOs, you know, it was a crazy world. So I started that, honestly, with the vision inside my heart, just that somebody else could do it too. So for me, you know, that's how I chose to do it for myself. For you, it might be something else. I know my man right here is a cartoonist, right? Me? Yes, you. I remember you. You came to the club. You came to the club. You came to the club. Yeah, he's very good. Simple things like that. We can do to really build our brand and also build a passage inside of us so that it can expound to the world. Because when you leave these blocks, honestly, when you leave Connecticut, everybody else looks at you as the best. And that's really true. Everywhere I went, when I tell them from Connecticut, they really think I'm like, like I'm on this crazy pedestal. My family came from Rose Park, huh? So, and we moved to Windsor when I was younger. So, that's the truth. I didn't grow up nothing, nothing uh, that nobody else didn't have, you know? So, that's just like a perspective for y'all on who y'all are. So, I'm here to just tell y'all through my presence being here, that I support all of y'all and invest in my time, and everybody here is investing their time and tell y'all so y'all can be something and so y'all can blow up because we all want to see y'all show. So, with that, thank y'all for having me and enjoy y'all program today. Thank you. Jayla, did you tell them about all the companies that you own? <laughs> I have four businesses. I'm oh, my sister. So, I run a charity, so I'm a philanthropist. I'm a real estate investor as well. Oh, what about that word, philanthropist? What did y'all call that word this morning? Did y'all hear that word this morning? You might want to ask what it is. <laughs> Someone who gives, you know, 
goblins gives away charity. Like that's just what they do. Like it's, it's given. It's been so given, I guess. So yeah, so I oh sorry. Uh, real estate investor, I'm a philanthropist. Uh, I also run a consulting business that houses uh, two revenue streams, one of which is a development company, the other is business council. So literally helping people like y'all, say if you had a business idea, you gotta come to somebody like me. And I will help y'all incorporate and you know set up and get on your way. Yeah. What did you do with so, um, your pre went today? You said you had four business, so how did you do all that? That's a hard question to answer. Right. A few things. One, network. So I made it my, my business to be a person who was a people of people and try to meet as many people as I could meet to get to as many people as I could get. So the first was network. I'll be honest with you, man. Really, things happened for me because of key conversations with people I had in my life. I was an English major in college. I worked on, I just left Goldman Sachs on Wall Street. I was an English major. I didn't take no, you know what I'm saying? It's like two business classes. So I had a conversation with a woman that changed my life when she found out about the foundation. And she said, she plugged me basically. Hey, you know, I told her, say, I want to work in finance. I didn't even know the person was going to be at the number one investment bank. I said, hey, yeah, just connect me. That's how it happened. So network, that's one. Two, grit. Grit. Bro, nothing comes easy, especially if it's, if it's going to last long. you got to have grit and the ability to have faith in yourself. And, I, and that is, that's the hard part, actually, believe it or not, just having faith in it. And that comes from God, obviously. You know, taking time with yourself, journeying, man. It's a, it's a long road, you know, but you can do it. So, and the last one, you know, you got to have a, some type of love around you, man. So, whether it's God's love, your family's love, your grandma, something like that. That's the tree I would do. Anybody else? Cool? All right, y'all. Thank y'all for having me. Have a good rest of y'all day. Thank you.